The year is 2060. Australia's population has just surpassed one billion people. The once proud metropoles of Sydney and Brisbane now form a giant city state. But outside the city limits, people still live in a perpetual state of Westie. Oh, and Cameron Smith is playing his 63rd <laughs> season for the Melbourne Storm. But enough of that. Let's get on with the tale. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh. Go oh. get that out. Oh. 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 I love you. Oh. 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 Put this bed pan on the floor over there for me, mate. Oh, sure. It's nice and warm, isn't it? Oh. Well, don't spill it. Shit, Shero. <laughs> Lucky I'm hydrated. <sighs> Thanks for calling me again, Nathan. It's been a long time. Has been a long time. Ten years, Shero. Ten years. The years have been kind. Oh, f off, Shero. Just because you haven't fing aged at all. So anyway, you told me you had another story. An incredible story. I do. And this one's even better than the last one. Another time travel story? Of course. I suppose you could call this one What If Part Dukes. Did you just say Dukes? Yeah, Dukes. Like number two. It's French. I think you'll find it's pronounced Dieu. Just roll the sting. So what have you got for me? Well, the other day I was hanging out with myself. Sorry, myself? Yeah, me, myself and I. What are you talking about? Well, Recently, I've been using my time machine to hang out with myself. Been slice? No, nah, mate, diabetes. <laughs> Where'd you get to my age? Bloody pissed to bed last night. Prostate's playing up massively. And hemorrhoids, size of Matty Johns. <laughs> Matty Johns, remember that bloke? Wait, let me get this straight. You bend and distort the space-time continuum to hang out with yourself? Yeah. We have beers, tacos, or Super Saturday. Bullshit. <laughs> we actually watch Super Saturday. Time for some leg, boys. <laughs> as long as it's not a rerun of the 2009 grand final. Hey, <laughs> am I right? Am I right? F***ing <laughs> Melbourne Storm. F***ing cheating bastards. Nathan, this is the most extraordinary story I've ever heard. <laughs> you didn't get out much, do you, Tim? Anyway, the other day when we were hanging out, I heard there was a problem. Hey, guys, hear about the time machine? What? Apparently got pinched. Do we know who took it? A guy with a big head and a small cock. Who? Sam Burgess? No, no, no. A guy with a really big head and a really small cock. Nathan, who stole the machine? Who do you think was that bloody Brian Fletcher? You see, since we last spoke, I've spent a lot of time tinkering away on the design. The phone box concept was too clunky. What is it now? A toaster. Simpsons did it. What? Homer built a time machine out of a toaster. Really? Yeah. F cut. Who wrote this script? We can't go copying shit. Fletch and Heine, we're originals. We don't bloody take things off TV shows that have already been done. Go away, f off. All right, ready? <laughs> ready? Yeah, action. One, take two. Yep. So what is it now, Nathan? It's a Foxtel TV remote. Totally original, Shero. Click. You don't watch Adam Sandler movies, do you? No. Anyway, while I was working on my adjustments in the shed, someone was obviously spying on me. Fletch. Buzz. Exactly. <laughs> and he stole it from right under my nose. <laughs> and he headed straight back to the time and place that totally destroyed his life forever. The day he started making Fletch and Hindy segments... Don't be a total dickhead, show. ..was the day he became a f***ing rabbit -o. And local Early Beach police say they will continue to hunt for the two men they believe were involved in the case of the mustard shoelace. <laughs> now, to totally unrelated news, Roosters play Brian Fletcher is about to front the media with news of his future. Let's cross now to Bondi. I'm honoured to be here to announce <laughs> that from today I'll be joining the mighty South Sydney Bunnies for at least the next 10 years. And I can guarantee you that we will win heaps of premierships and my over-the-top salary will be justified. No questions. Thank you very much. And as I always say, glory, glory to South Sydney. Thank you very much. How do you f***ing get out of this joint? <laughs> glory, glory to South Sydney. Hello, dickhead. Ah, who the f*** are you? 
Let's just say we're related, and I'm here to give you a little present. Okay. I hope no one sees this. <laughs> Shut up, man. I'm here to tell you, you need to backflip on your move to the bunnies. You've got to stay at the roosters. No way. No way. I'm going to the bunnies. Russell Crowe. He's going to be my best mate, and he's never made a bad movie. Oh, yeah? You think that, do you? Watch this. What's his movie called? It's called Noah. Turn it off. Turn the fucking shit off. Look, j j just backflip on your deal. One more thing. In about 16 and a half years' time, when you order an Uber, it's not an Uber. Do not get in that car. <laughs> what's, what's an Uber? You, you know, it, an app on your iPhone. What the fuck's an iPhone? Hmm. Here, keep this. Well, did it work? Did Fletch convince himself? Of course. He backflipped quicker than he could say Daily Cherry Evans. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, look, everyone, I have another announcement. After a few hours of soul searching, I've decided to stay with the Sydney Roosters and finish my career in the red, white, and blue. Oh, but what about the bunnies, Fletch? Buzz, haven't you retired yet? No doubt Fletcher's decision to stay at the Roosters had ramifications. Shero, worse than you could possibly imagine.